Hello, my name is Peter Cowell, Executive Chef Moffitt Turbofan. Today we're going to show you our operation procedures for our new touchscreen series turbofan convection ovens. To start your oven in the most basic mode, infinite run, press the on off button. With your preset temperature already from the factory, take the timer knob, turn it once to the negative. The unit will start in infinite mode. Pressing the start stop button will now start the mode and start the count up timer. The unit will run in this mode as long as you leave it. Do not change any settings or turn the unit off. To enter a program, turn your unit on. Select the program mode by pressing the programming key. The LED will illuminate while in program mode and the screen will show your program item. Select the program that you want with the temperature knob. Press and hold the P key until the temperature flashes in the upper display. You will now select the temperature at which you want the program to run. Pressing the P key will confirm the temperature. Using the timer and the plus and minus, enter the time you wish the program to run for. Pressing the P key to save that value. You now choose the humidity level that you want the program to run at. You may choose zero through five. Zero is off one through five being increasing levels of humidity. Press the P key to select and save. Now choose the fan speed. Use the temp knob to select high or low with the plus or minus. Press the P key to confirm. The unit will enter its program mode and start the program preheat. Once the program is selected, the unit will continue on preheat. When the unit is ready, it will announce with a beep and show RDY ready on the screen. If you'd like to view the actual temperature, press the actual temp button. The first step will show you what the program is set at, 375 and 10 minutes. The second step shows you what the current temperature is in the unit it then reverts back to its program display. Once the unit shows ready, the product can be loaded and the timer started. While in program to show the actual temperature, you'll press the actual temp button. It will return to the program menu. To turn the steam mode on and off, press the steam button. A lit LED will indicate that the mode is on. While in the program, the fan speed can be changed from high to low by pressing the fan button. A lit LED indicates low fan speed. No LED indicates high fan speed. The unit can be operated in several modes. Press the on off button to start your first basic mode. The unit will run at your preset temperature with no time indicator as long as you leave it. The door can be opened and closed. No adjustments or changes need be made to the time to continue the unit operating at that mode. The unit can be run in timed mode by turning the unit on using the timer knob to add time at your preset temperature. Start your timer. A solid LED indicates that the timer is running. If you need to pause the timer, press the start stop button. A flashing LED indicates a paused unit. There will be no heat no fan and no humidity added during this time. The unit will cool off if left.
in this mode. To start the unit heating again, simply start your timer. The unit will resume where it left off. To use the humidity controls of your unit, while the unit is in a timed mode, press the steam button. Note the LED is now on, indicating that the unit is actively adding humidity to the cavity. To change the level of the humidity being added to the cavity, press and hold the steam button until you see H and a number flash in the screen. This is the level of the humidity in the cavity. Using the temp knob, you can change from 1 to 5, 5 being the highest. Press the steam button to save that. The unit will now accept and run at your new setting. Hello, my name is Peter Carroll, Executive Chef of Moffitt Turbofan. Today we are going to show you our operation procedures for our new touchscreen series turbofan convection ovens. The new E33 has a touchscreen. To operate it, simply touch the function that you'd like to perform. Turn the unit on and off. The red and green buttons will perform the function. To operate the unit in manual mode, simply touch the section. The unit will then start in its manual mode, remembering the previously saved settings. Convection, 375 for 15 minutes. To change any of these, simply touch the section. You're now cooking in moisture level. To change the level, touch the number. Pick the number of the level you'd like, zero being off, five being the highest. Pressing the check, touching the check. It will remember your new level. Temperatures can be adjusted the same way. Remembering each time to touch the check mark. Time can be added. Remembering each time to touch the check mark to save the setting. To change the fan speed, simply touch the fan. You can now choose how you would like your fan to function. High or low, manual, auto, or pulse. In manual mode, you can choose the time between reversing. Touch the section. Choose anywhere from 1 minute and 40 seconds to 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Remember to touch the check mark exiting to save the settings. To use the level timers, press the level. You're now in shelf mode. Individual timers can be set and started based on your recipe. To operate the light, touch the light button in the manual screen. The light will turn on and stay on as long as you leave it. To turn it off, simply touch the screen again. To cook with a recipe already saved in the unit, touch the recipe section. The saved recipes are shown using the up and down arrows Scroll to the item you want to cook. Press that item. The unit will put in the settings and start the process of preheating. It will announce when it's ready to be loaded. To create your own recipe, touch the recipe. Touch the create new item. Put in your passcode. Factory default is 2222. Press the check mark. You can now select a recipe already in the unit to edit, or you can create your own by touching the plus. Name your recipe. Touching the check to save that. Choose an image.
select a category. The next stage allows you to choose how you want to cook. You can choose the mode, your temperature, your time, the parameters for your fan, core temp probe, flex time, and other options. If you would like to add additional stages, touch the plus, then proceed to modify the additional change to meet your required cooking needs. When selection is complete, press the check. It will save it and add it to your list of recipes for further editing or use. To use a stored recipe, touch Recipes, select the recipe you wish to use, the unit will start the recipe and alert you when the preheat is met and to load the unit. When in manual or program mode, to start or stop the process at any time, touch the play button or pause or to stop the program completely, touch the stop button. At the end of your day, to cool the unit down or in between recipes, at the main menu, touch the cool down button. The unit door should be cracked open and the unit will continue to cool down. To turn the unit off from there, simply touch the off button. Hello, my name is Peter Carroll, Executive Chef of Moffitt Turbofan. Today we're going to show you our operation procedures for our Turbofan Proofer Series. The controls on the M Series, very basic. You have an on-off indicator, a thermostat indicator, and a timing indicator. When you turn the unit on with the temperature knob, you set your temperature. The oven is on. Thermostat should be heating. Set the time. When the time is out, the unit will buzz. To turn off the buzzer, simply turn the timer to off. This is the P8M proofer. It has a hold and proof function. On the P8, you have a function selector switch. It has an off, on or proof, and hold function. Below that, you have the thermostat. 65 to 185 degrees, depending on your need. We have the humidity control from 1 to 8, simply selected by rotating the knob to the desired position, a thermometer, showing you the internal temperature of the cavity. To use the unit as a proofer, turn the unit to on, set the appropriate temperature, Select your humidity. Allow the unit to preheat. That's all that's required to set the unit as a proofer. To use the unit as a holding cabinet, set the function switch to hold. Set your thermostat to the desired temperature to hold your product at. The unit will now function as a holding cabinet. In proof mode, with the unit on, temperature set, Set your humidity to the desired level. The unit will auto fill. Once full, the red indicator will come on, showing you that the unit is producing humidity.